again. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Candle Tech. So in today's video, we are actually going to look at how to install a fresh Windows on a laptop or a desktop. Okay. So. This is our USB stick, okay? This is a USB stick okay? that we'll be using for the Windows, okay? So, if you have the laptop you are going to work on, as I have over here, you no, know, you have to shut it down first, okay? So let's shut it down. We are shutting it down. Insert it into it. Then you power on the system, okay? And mind you, you must make sure you know the boot key for the particular win. I mean, laptop you are actually going to install the Windows 10 on, or the Windows 11, any other Windows on. So, in this video, you are actually installing the operating system on a on an HP laptop. Okay. So you must know the boot key for this particular which is f9 so once i power on the next thing i need to do is to locate the wind uh, the f9 on the keyboard and then we pressing it for it to actually pop up then i'll go for the option which contains the operating system and then select and then we'll proceed from there so let's power it on and then f9 so you will see USB, usb what hard drive usb hard drive one generic mass storage is the pen drive we have over here so i'm going to select it by what you're going pressing enter then you wait for a while okay time you have time and currency format okay then you have the keyboard or input method okay so if you are outside Ghana or you understand any other language then you can set it to what suits you okay by by default okay let this one be don't change anything just let it be and then click on next okay click on next then over here you are installing you see we have repair over here okay and then this particular windows is a 2015 microsoft corporation okay but when you are done you can actually upgrade it okay blue screen of death okay sometimes when you come and you have the pen drive you just insert come to repair your computer and then you click you select and then you go in this case you are actually going to install now so let's go let's install so as you can see so over here the windows pop-up will come it will ask you to enter the product key to activate the windows okay so over here if you have the product key of the windows you are installing so this one is windows 10 the 2015 model if you have the product key you just have to do what enter it inside this particular input box over here okay but in this case i have uh, the activator okay to activate it to make it i mean brand new so in this case we are going to skip okay we are going to skip so right now what we are going to do we are doing over here right now is a collection of data okay collection of data so you can see over here the versions the architecture then the versions of a PC system that we have over here we have the 10 pro the professional and the pen like that okay like that 
so in this case you are going to select the probe okay and then we'll actually click on what next okay so over here i hope most of you know this already license terms okay anytime you, you are going to install an application you have these license terms okay that you need to check i accept the license terms then i continue without it you can move on so over here we have which type of installation do you want okay so we have upgrade and then we have the custom the upgrade means and you can read it from here okay the upgrade is when you have okay the power or this particular windows with this option okay and this option is only available when a supported version of windows is already running on the computer so let's say windows 10 okay i want to this one is windows 10 okay and i want to upgrade to windows 10 22h2 and I have the software or the setup, the bootable on this particular drive over here. And I insert, I'll just upgrade from there straight. You won't lose anything, it's just going to do what upgrade it. But with the custom, it's a fresh installation, okay? The fresh installation that you are coming to do. So we'll go to custom, and the custom it can be you are doing a, a dual boot or maybe. You don't want to clear everything but you've partitioned the drive and then you want to install only on the drive c that's where the custom also comes in so let's go straight you can read more about it so right now these are the drives okay this is a drive okay this is a drive what do you want to do what install the windows that's a question they'll ask you that's still a okay for the system okay it's actually take I mean parts of the drive okay to store certain information on it okay so we're going to delete it delete this one too I want us to do everything fresh okay you will see this is a main drive okay so right now you see new you see new over right here click on you so here is where we do the partition the partitioning of drives this is what we do it do we can do it inside internal okay you can do it inside the window i mean environment okay but before this way you have to actually divide your drive if you want to have drive so with this this one i'm not going to actually do what divide it okay so if you want to divide it take the total number over here and divide it into two or into three whatever you want to divide it so you can calculate it or you can ask your client whether you want to partition it or not so this one initially when it came it wasn't partitioned so i don't want to go further but i can go ahead to partition it but i don't want it to be okay but you let's go ahead and then partition it so that you understand what i mean so right here i want to since it's fine, I want to make it 200, 200, okay? So just here by 4, I'm just going to take 2, and then maybe 6, okay? Then, okay, so you need to read, you need to read, okay? Then you accept. So you can see, you have 260.2 gig, and then 203 points one word okay i can divide it equally but this anyhow you want to divide it you just have to divide it according to the number which you want so here is on allocated space so if right now i click on next i won't see this drive unless i go internally to the device manager fix manager and then do it activate it over there so with this one let's go i think i'm, I'm hoping and i trust my client who love this partition but i don't want it to be so because of installations of because he's a student so 
you let's actually delete it okay let's delete let's delete let's delete and apply all so let's go apply okay so click ok so let's do the formatting into format okay so if we see when you select this particular Drive okay, the reserve is actually 100 uh, 500.0 megabytes, which you can install what Windows on it. So you say Windows cannot be installed on drive zero partition one. Then show more details. So when you go to show more details, it will give you the reasons why. Okay, then okay. So over here, here, let me read the show details. So this partition is too small. Make the size of this partition at least. So the at least you need eight gig, okay? Eight gig to do what? To install this particular what? Windows, okay? So we are going to select this one. Since it's a huge, the primary, then click on what next. So at this stage, okay, it's just going to install the Windows straight away. Right now it's getting files ready for installation, okay? So you see it's actually at zero percent. So right now one percent. So it will go all to hundred percent. Come down. So this one has been checked. So it's now installing this. From there to come. Come, come, and then that's it. into the requirements okay you need to know the minimum requirements of installing a particular window the window you want to install you need to know the minimum requirements before you install you can install windows 10 on a requirement which is meant or made for windows 7 or windows sp or windows vista it won't work yes it won't work so sometimes sometimes you just sometimes force the windows on some of the operating system you know that this one is for windows 7 or windows vista but yet you want to install a higher version it will go back to it will crash that's why it will be running slowly it will give you the performance which you actually intend to get anything it anything it is a basic of it all i think in future in the future i'll be showing you guys how to repair them too when it gets broken down Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe like share comment thank you very much take off the drive I mostly i want to enjoy the fullness of it so i sometimes don't but sometimes if you don't remove it if you do what spin and start all over the process again let you take it off so it will restart once it's done from here. So you see Windows needs to do what restart to continue. Okay. So over right here you can After the installation stage, the next thing you need to do is to install the drivers. After installing the drivers, then you install the applications that your client requested for, or the softwares or applications you know he needs. Okay, so 
so it's time to enter the pressure key so here too it's also asking for the pressure key again okay but like i said earlier on i have the activator already i have the pressure key already so i'll enter it right here i'll enter it in there so let's do what escape okay then from here we are getting it gets going fast okay it gets going fast okay so over here we are going to use commented Use express settings, okay? So you comment it, okay? So, yeah, it. so just yeah. okay. So over here, we are creating an account for this particular PC, okay? So here is requesting for password, username, word hint. So over here, I didn't actually ask the user for his name and details. So over here, it's important to collect all the details that you need for the installation from the user from your clients but I know he, he can change he can go and then change the preference so you can make it PC or user but PC in short and you go back if they have given you or you know their name you just have to do what you put it over there when she, you enter their name so he said hi I'm also saying hi say hello say hello to me too long so SS patient okay so roughly this should take you about 20 to 30 minutes to complete everything 